The EU's two-day summit has been much longer and tense than expected. Heads of state and government are trying to find ways to contain the skyrocketing rise in energy prices. There was clear division between those that were for and against intervening in the energy market for fear of disrupting supply chains and the role of renewables. Finally, an arrangement was made for Spain and Portugal, who were asking for a temporary cap on electricity prices. Indeed, the Iberian Peninsula has a very special situation. There, the energy mix is with a high load of renewables. This is very good. And with very few interconnections only. And therefore, we agreed on a special treatment that is possible for the Iberian Peninsula uh, so that uh, the Iberian Peninsula can deal with this very specific situation they are in. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez was one of the most belligerent countries. At one point, he even left the meeting room in protest. Among the most reluctant countries to intervene and accept his proposals was the Netherlands. But during the summit, other decisions were taken. EU leaders wanted the European Commission to negotiate the common purchase of gas in the name of the 27 member states in order to get better prices. There was also an agreement on the need for increasing the levels of gas storage in Europe ahead of next winter. 75% of the global pipeline gas market is the European market. So we have an enormous purchasing power. And therefore, I welcome that we will now use our collective bargaining power. Instead of outbidding each other and driving prices up, we will pool our demand. The war in Ukraine is one of the reasons for the rise in energy prices and everybody understands that Europe must be more autonomous and less dependent on Russian gas. Also because it's one of the main sources of income for Moscow to finance the war. Shona Murray, Euronews, Brussels.